Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're doing another intermediate algorithm scripting project called Wherefore Art Thou. So we want to make a function that looks through an array of objects, the first argument, and returns an array of all objects that have matching name and value pairs, second argument. Each name and value pair of the source object has to be present in the object from the collection if it is to be included in the returned array. For example, if the first argument is um, an array with the first object of Romeo, first Romeo, last uh, Monta Montague, and then the second object is Mercutio, and the last name is Null, and that the third object is Tybalt, it's first Tybalt, last Capulet, and the second argument is Capulet, then you must return the third object from the array, the first, the first object, the first argument. Uh, the array, and the array is the first argument, because it contains the name and its value that was passed on as a second argument. Remember, research ask if you get stuck. Write your own code. Okay, so this one seems a bit tricky. Um, well, the first thing that we want to do is iterate through our collection, right? Because we want to be able to grab each individual object and then run a series of tests to see if they have the last key and the last value of Capulet. So we're going to start with uh, collection. Um, this should be collections. So we're going to go collections dot for each and then we're going to say collection. Okay, and so if we console dot log our collection now, this is the collection we're working with, right? Okay, so we've got Romeo, uh, last is Montague, and so we've got three objects. We're iterating through the objects. Um, let's see, what does that compare with our source? Our source is this one, last Capulet, last Capulet. Okay, so our collection, um, source, let's see, the source last is Capulet, so um, object dot value of source uh, object dot key keys of source is equal to last okay um, so maybe we could iterate through our keys Yeah, yeah, we could iterate through the keys of here. Um, and the way to do that with objects is we could go object, uh, no, um, we can say for let key in source, and then we could uh, console.log key. Okay, cool. So now we've got our key. And this will work for our, if we have more than one as well. So if we have uh, last and then uh, uh, first, and we call that uh, Juliet, um, we would get last first. Here, I'm going to comment this out for now. Last first, last first, last first. So now we're iterating through here. We've got our key, and we also have a collection. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so now we've got a collection and we've got our key uh, last first, last first. And so if we were to, well, collection at last would be Montague, right? So if we go collection at key, Montague, Romeo. And then if we did um, a source at key, Montague, Capulet, Romeo, Juliet. Uh, Null, Capulet, Mercutio, Juliet. Capulet, Capulet, Tybalt, Juliet. Okay, let's get rid of Juliet for now. This is not part of our test sequence. So yeah, none of these match. And so collection and source key, I mean, we could go um, if collection is equal to source key, then we... Um, we push into the array, right? Because we have an open array. So array.push, and then we put our, uh, what do we put? We want the uh, collection? Yeah. 
uh, console.log, the collection. Nice. Yeah, oh, here's what's going on. Down here, we need to set this. So let's call this let the result equal here. And then we can just uh, console.log the result. Cool, this is actually the right answer. I can get rid of this console log now. Um, this is what we're looking for. This is the array first and last uh, capulet. Um, so yeah, that matches. Uh, we can run the test. Okay, cool, we've got uh, two of six tests passing. So let's pass this guy into our test and see how that goes. Okay, cool, so I can immediately see that we're we're duplicating it, right? Every time that this matches, this is, uh, yeah, let's console log the uh, collection. So, and then let's get rid of the answer for now. So, Apple one, bat two, bat two, bat two. Okay, so what's happening is each time that we iterate, we're, we're, we're writing these to the thing, collection. Is that right? Yeah. And so if we, so we need to say, yeah, okay. Here's another way to think about it. Um, let's just console log the key in here. The key. Apple bat, apple bat, apple bat. Apple bat, apple bat, apple bat. Interesting, okay, so. And then the key, and then the um, source key and the collection key. Apple one one, bat two two, apple one undefined, bat two two, apple one one, bat two two. But in our result, what we're getting is this massive, we're, we're writing it on more, than, more times than we need. So we need to ha have a way to un, we, we need a way, way to make sure that all of the thing, all of the um, keys, have been iterated through before we give it the option uh, to iterate here. So we could do it with an index. I think we could go let index equals zero. And then we could say, um, yeah, we could go index plus equals one. And then if we console.log the index, then we'd have a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's uh, get rid of this console log just to keep it clean. One, two, one, two, one, two. Um, with each key, we're indexing up. So if, um, let's see here. Let's say the index, and then we want to say the um, collection uh, key. What happens there? One, one, two, one. One undefined, two, two. One, one, two, two. So what's happening here? We're going apple bat, and then the index is equal to two, apple bat, so that would match. This one would not match, but then this one would match, and that's what we want with this one right here. We want to get two, but we don't want this one. So I think what we could do is say, um, <clears throat> If the uh, collection key, then we iterate up. But what do we want to say? If the collection, oh, this is the index. If the collection key um, is equal to the, wait a second, collection key. What about source key? Undefined one. If the collection key is equal to the source key, then we add to the index. Oh, that's what we're doing here. And now we could say if the index is equal to the um, source, uh, we need to know how long the, the source 
count is, right? Right here, we've got one, two values. So we need to find the objects in the source. Object dot keys source. But object dot keys of, of source will get us. Uh, so we need to go length. You see, because we're getting apple bat, apple bat, apple bat. So we need to go dot length. And that'll give us two. So when, if the index is two, um, then we, we're good to go. Um, let's see what happens here. OK. It looks like, OK, this is working now. So what we're saying is, yeah, let's uh, the index and the collection and the source. OK, so the index is 0. Um, oh, let's throw the key in there, too. Let's put the key in at the beginning. OK, so the key is Apple. The collection key is equal to the source key, which means uh, Apple, you know, one is, so the collection key is equal to Apple. And that renders out, or the key, the key is equal to Apple, and the collection is here. And the source is here. So it says Apple, it's, it renders out, is 1 equal to 1? Yes. So then we add to the index, bat. Um, bat here is 2, and bat here is 2. So we add to the index. So, oh, we can uh, console log the index down here. OK, so 1, 2. And then so index, and then if we do, let's, let's do uh, yeah, and then the object keys length. So I'm just printing these out together so we can see. So we iterate through the first time, the index becomes one, but it's not equal to two, so we skip this. And we're checking to see if apple, the apple is one here and it's one here. So the second time, it's bat, bat two here, bat two here. So we add to the index, we add to the index here, and then we come down and we check here. The index and the key source is two because it's always the key source is always two, but the index is finally reached to there, and therefore we push into the array with the collection, which is uh, Apple one bat two. Uh, the same thing here, but in the first one, Apple is not part of here, so we got undefined. So because it's not there, the index is not incremented, and even though um, our next um, source key is bat and bat is here, the index only gets to one. The index only gets to one, so it passes through here without um, pushing to the console, to the pushing to the array, and then we iterate. We come back through to our next collection, and the index is reset to zero. And so we do it again, one, 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 two. Uh, oh yeah, this is where we we ended up. And then th on our last one, even though we have three elements, it doesn't matter because um, the source only has to go through two to check if it's the apple and the bat. Um, man, I bet this will pass. OK, cool. Um, let's get rid of all these console logs and see if we can refactor this a bit. Um, first off, which array is not a good way to, and it's never a good idea to name your um, variables like array if they're an array. It's obvious that they're array. We should say um, the uh, matching result. Right, and then change that down here. So that way the code is more readable. Oh, here, are. let's see. Okay, so yeah, here I need to have m matching result as well. Um, cool, I'm gonna get rid of this console log as well. And uh, there was a lot of console logs this time. Get rid of this guy as well. Okay, cool. So now the only thing that we're logging to the console is the result, which we want. Um, man. How would you refactor this guy? I'm already using the uh, for each in the collection with the arrow function, so I can't do much there. I don't really know how to re-index this index thing. There's probably a way to do this with a filter method, which um, involves some conditionals, some tricky conditionals. But you know what? I'm just not even going to do it that way. I'm going to call this one good. This is kind of a tricky, tricky one, you know. Uh, this is something that you might run into as a, as a real software engineer. So I wouldn't say don't worry about it. I'm sure that there's other ways to do that. But this um, is going to be the way that I'm sticking with for this tutorial. 
Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.